Hi, today is Monday the 19th and this is the weekly recap. It's going to be a short one since I only have one trade in the market right now. I closed July last week, Monday, to reduce my PM margin and the trade closed for according to 1770, but this is not correct. It's more like 720. Anyway, I mean, this is a little bug. Uh, but I checked and it's more like 720. Anyway, so this one is closed. I had a leverage of 1.5. So overall, it's probably 3% or almost 3% on this trade. Now let's go to the current trade because of a little issue we had with IB with creating sub accounts and then you found account, etc, etc. And I couldn't open the September trade. I will probably open it today and vol is popping nicely so it will be pro maybe on september but most probably on sub september 30th so the month and expiry so this is the august trade last week i made a cautious move with a bullish risk reversal here as you can see on the 14th i did a risk reversal closing out one ccs on 4575 4600 and got a PCS 3875 3900. It was not a great move. I probably lost a little bit of negative delta that, that I would enjoy today, but that's still okay. That's still okay. Um, today I will probably sell another CCS again because it looks like the because the ivy trough is moving towards the money. It's going to move faster, but now it's around 4550 55. It's still not very safe at 45.75, but I will try and add one CCS around here just to improve the profitability of the trade. I will assume because now after 30 DTE, the, the, the IV trough will move faster towards the money and also higher volatility enhances the skew, the smile of the IV skew. So this is not so bad for now. Let's go back to the trade so on this one the delta is very flat for a long while so i don't have to worry too much the profit is not great and i want to improve it again it's probably going to be a shift of vega towards the call side again hoping the market will not go back to its grinding mode but otherwise it's it's fairly stress-free kind of trade i will enter september or september 30th later today my initial proposal was somewhere around a with upper longs on on 4100 something like that um, this would be on a flat to slightly positive delta which is not really great when the market just keeps falling so i would probably go for a safer one or go for the 30th so let's look at the 30th the other possibility is of course to now that volatility is picking up would be to as you can see if i go 30th it's not even better because i would have more of a positive vega so it looks like i'm gonna go for a um, either 30th or regular expiry but thanks to higher volatility i will go for a higher wing size butterfly i will confirm that later but this one looks pretty good to me and as i've done recently with this wild market i will probably add a ccs above the trough the trough is not really visible on the on september but this will would be something uh, around 4650 close to 4700 and it would probably give me one dollar so if i go around here if you see here i get 90 cents probably 4650 4675 i will check on the ivsq later on so it will be probably thanks to high of all a larger wing bro broken butterfly and either on september 30th or going back to what i do more routinely going back to the regular september expiry okay that is it for now pretty easy going so adjustments are not doing it in any panic any sort of panic mode it's just now a matter of capturing profit on the current trade and getting a good entry on the next one thank you for watching as usual updates on slack and if you need an invite please drop a message below with a request for an invite Thank you for watching and bye for now.